Life without parole could quickly turn into shorter sentences for 48 inmates convicted before they turned 18. Now, a new bill just approved today will make them eligible for parole, and DAs from across our state are not happy about it. Molly Hendrickson has been following this story, and Molly, they told you they want this bill thrown out. Yeah, they basically want those 48 juveniles to be sentenced under 2006 guidelines, serve the full 40 years before they're eligible for parole. Now, under Senate Bill 181, they could be resentenced to 40 years, but with earned time. And in cases of felony murder, meaning cases with the juvenile did not actually commit the killing, they could be resentenced from 30 to 50 years. I'm here to ask the viewers, your viewers, for a call to action. Tonight, a last ditch effort to derail Senate Bill 181. Denver DA Mitch Morrissey holding a picture of Jessica Ridgway, claiming the legislation will only help teens like the one who killed her. The man that brutally murdered Jessica Ridgway gets a fourth off of his life sentence. The legislation would change the sentences of 48 juveniles serving life without parole in our state, but these prosecutors say it's been rushed through and ignores victims' concerns. Shame on you, legislature. Shame on anybody who is sponsoring this bill. That's really an intentional misleading of the public. Carrie Thompson, policy director for the Colorado Criminal Defense Bar, says the DAs are pandering to fears. She says only 15 of the 48 offenders would qualify for a sentence of 30 to 50 years, and Ridgway's killer is certainly not one. To say that he is going to get out and that deliberate, intentional, Misinformation is trying to get the public to become fearful when, in fact, it is based on a lie. The DAs say if the bills proceed, they'll call on the governor to veto them, despite some families who say even their children's killers deserve a second chance. The sentences that they were given to teenagers were a no-hope message. Now, we did reach out to the governor, but we haven't heard back. Traditionally, he says he evaluates bills once they end up on his desk. Now, that bill gets one more vote before it heads to the House. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Molly Hendrickson, Denver 7.